Assalamu alaikum guys. Today I am doing some folding. I hope that that isn't too annoying. I just I realized that I'm trying to <clears throat> I'm trying to be a mum. I'm trying to have a clean house, earn money, have a happy family, <laughs> and I'm trying to put out videos. The bar has to be lowered a little bit because it's just not physically possible for me to do all of that. So, here I am folding laundry. It's not even on brand. Well, I'm mummy in that one, so the video But before I get started guys, could you do me a favour and click the bell icon and then that means that whenever I upload you're going to get a notification, hopefully, I mean it doesn't work for everybody, but I am so unreliable with how I and when I upload <laughs> that it would just like, you won't miss my videos basically if you do that. So really, I wanted to continue on from what I was talking about last week because I, I just ran out of time. And this lady got in touch with me online and pointed this out. And basically I had wanted to cover this issue of lifestyle before um, in that video and I had to, I just, I had to cut that whole section out because it was too long. But it's funny because it's another thing that's on my mind a lot and me and my friend the other day we were chatting she was like, what is it that you like about Jordan? She's, she's from Jordan. And I was like, well, the lifestyle. And she's like, what are you talking about? Like the lifestyle of all things, you know, food, hospitality, but lifestyle hadn't really kind of crossed her mind before. So I think that I said in the last video, or maybe I cut it, that family values here are really, really important and are like the whole society, the whole structure is like built around protecting the family unit. And then that, kind of that translates into other other aspects because it's a systematic thing it's like an institutional thing it translates into other places too Saha Shufi so one of the places where you see this is with the government sector which is you know the whole the working hours for the pub, for the public sector is really built around like not have your job isn't your whole life and that was really strange for me when I first came here because in the UK and I think generally across the West your we, your job is your life that's what the system wants for, from you that your job is everything and you work to survive and survive to work you know and you get like these two days in between where you can kind of um, recharge your batteries a little bit and you can't even do that because at the weekend you've got to catch up on every all the chores that you'd miss during the week that's really different here the working hours are, are very different the public sector gets out around like it, it can depend and it'll be a, a bit earlier on a Thursday for example at the end of the week um, but typically you're looking at like 2 p.m. 2 3 p.m. and that's when the when the working day finishes private sector is completely different private sector is very much like what I'm used to it's really harsh working hours, being expected to work in your own time and things. Um, that's a, like a whole other subject. And you know, everyone always complains about it being really inefficient, like we're used to things being a lot more efficient. I mean, I don't know if I can say that from the UK because th there's a lot of stuff that isn't that efficient. Um, it's like really tied up in bureaucracy, the same as here. And you know, people like blame, blame like the working culture and things. And I've, I've spoken about that in the past because th it's like a trade-off. Like sometimes things could be a little bit more efficient. People could, you know, they could work harder. They, you know, things, there could be a, a shorter turnaround on certain things. It's not always that convenient that public, like the public sector closes and opens at such specific daytime hours where like, there's some places where if you don't get there between like nine and 12, you've missed your chance. Like you've, you've missed your slot that day. And like, that isn't great, but it's still, it, the people who are working there have a, have a family and that's recognised. Look at this cute hat. I got this a little bit too late and now it's summer and she can't really wear it. But it's so cute. So big she can wear it next year. I had, I had said like no pink. I don't want any pink. And now it's like pink, pink. Everywhere I look, pink, pink. <laughs> Sorry. There's also things like what, what time people have lunch. In the UK, people typically, they will have like breakfast. If you have kids, like you generally try to have like a family breakfast in the morning before everyone goes off to work and to school. And then um, kids will tend to have lunch at school. And then at dinner time tends to be um, really quite early. 
so it will be like if you have children it will be like um, six o'clock kind of time and that will be like the main meal of the day lunchtime here tends to happen at about 4 p.m no, no let's say like let's say between 2 and 4 p.m but it, they can get they can get quite late and that will be the main meal of the day and that will be the family meal when everyone sits around and they'll have like a big cooked meal so the, pro the thing that I never understand is that the working day in the UK is like 8 a.m. until like 5 p.m. I'm gonna move down to the floor and another thing in the UK the bedtime is really really strict so kids will go to bed at like 7 between 7 and like I guess 9 you're pushing it like with smaller kids it's a bit different um, but people are really like hardline about bedtime but then that means that if your kid is going to bed at like 7 or 8 p.m and they got home from school at like 4 and you got home from work at like 5 or 6 do you see the maths there do you see how that doesn't add up like when do you have this big family meal when do you bathe the child when do you do homework when do you do, like i i can't comprehend how this works saha <laughs> hello monkey but so in jordan a lot of schools they don't serve lunch in the school and you will come home for lunch and parents you know working in the public sector will get off early and you can have that big meal together does, it's, it works differently for private sector in the same way that what I did for the UK is very hard and fast kind of idea of what what it looks like for the majority I guess and I'm not saying it's like it's directly comparable because you know in Jordan the maternity leave is really really short I can't remember how long it is exactly but I know that length that you are entitled to usually isn't given usually it's like we want you back within three months we're gonna give your job to someone else if you don't come back in that time like a part of motherhood that i've never expected and I, frankly i didn't sign up for it is to just be doing laundry all the time it's all i'm ever doing my husband's like don't you ever give that washing machine a rest like doesn't it ever give me a rest and like when we've discussed in the past like the possibility of going to the uk to live and to work and things i can never get past that aspect of the lifestyle like i don't i i love that my husband gets home at like a reasonable hour and we have lunch together and we like <coughs> we we get to enjoy family life not just at the weekends and not just like within select hours the boys are doing some kind of science experiment in here no i Ice. Yesterday we ordered bread and I got the boys some managish as well for the morning. Like, I don't think I've ever shown you guys managish before. Obviously a lot of you are going to know what it is. But for those who don't, this is a dough. And then on top you've got loads of olive oil and za'atar, which is um, thyme basically. But it's in this case it's a mix of dry time with sesame and sumac. No! Okay. <coughs> and also, another thing that I haven't, like, it doesn't make me want to consider the UK as somewhere for settling, is, oh, is she awake? We have this, like, really strange kind of dynamic thing in the UK and in a lot of countries where yeah I'm on to my next my next bag of laundry. I only did the boys stuff so far. Um so there's this 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 weird kind of dynamic where if you're a mum then you are expected to go back to work as soon as possible to contribute to society as if raising children isn't contributing to society um and you're meant to also like be good mums and work really hard at your job and not let being a mum interfere with being with your job you are also looked down upon if you go back to work <laughs> like oh she's a career woman she's prioritizing her work over her children or she's prioritizing you know it's it's, it's there's a lot of there's a lot of judgment in there that I just, I can't, I can't deal with. Like, mums 
are put under such intense scrutiny and such intense pressure. And here, you know, and I felt that too. I felt, because I brought that over with me, even though no one was expecting me to start working again. And I worked right through my pregnancy with Adhan, like, like right through. And I was working again within the week, because I was like, I can't let being a mother define, you know, define me and I, I work hard and I bring in the money too and I contribute and no one's gonna say that I'm a kept woman and all of this stuff which is all the stuff that's kind of been drilled into me my whole life and then I kind of realized that no one was asking me to do that and if you have the option not to work people are like pleased for you that you get to stay home they'll be like oh that's really nice that you don't have to work that you get to be home with your children they're never going to be like when are you going to get back to work like time is ticking the longer that you stay out uh, outside of work the harder it is to break back in and all of this stuff which is just you know it's unhelpful but also very un unsympathetic and very unrealistic like the, the the expectations for mums are just just way too high. Oh, baby. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go change some nappies. I think I've probably said all that I can think of to say on the subject right now, um, and maybe we will continue talking about this stuff. Oh, baby! In the next video, take care, guys. Masalama. <laughs>